So let us start with you uh, by giving us an overview of what the Arlington Academy of Hope is all about. How did it even come to be in place in the first place? We started this program because of our background. We need schools in our region and how poor they were. And we're living in a country that has got excellent education facilities. Uh, so our immediate goal was to borrow some of what we had found in our new country and bring it to our home community so we can provide quality education for the children from this community. I would like to turn to you, Honorable. Talk to us about the importance of quality education, especially in the rural areas like where Arlington Academy is, is, is located. Now, quality education is a very, very important key, especially in the rural areas, in terms of preparing the population to meet the goals or to live a quality life. What are some of the lessons that the other parts of the country can learn from this initiative? Now, what other parts of the country can learn from Arlington Academy is it is possible. Because if just two Ugandans were able to come back home in Ibududa and create an impact, even us, where government is giving a lot of resources, and you have to say to all Ugandans that government is giving a lot of resources to the grassroots, to the districts, sub-counties, to make sure that education is given to everybody. Like the policy says, every sub-county should have a secondary school. Every parish should have a primary school. So I'm urging that together we can be able to make it. Mm -hmm and Uganda has all schools and the quality. Okay. Because we are known, by the way, Uganda, we, we, we are known for having quality education despite mm -hmm. all this. Because when you leave Makerere, you would never go wrong, even when you go out. Sure. So we need to keep that up, be patriotic, love our nation, and support government on this. When you talk about, uh, for an example, Arlington, there is an international aspect attached to it. And yes. uh, when we talk about international, there is a, a perception of, you know, a higher cost that also comes with a school being international. Yes, it is true. There is also that phobia. The focus is the rural child. So they have put in place already a model how the local children can be able to be subsidized and they are able to afford that education. But also, as government, we are working towards empowering our community to get out of poverty. So we have the parish development model. All this will be a mix of making sure that the parents are working to have something, but also there is a subsidy from someone somewhere. But in the end, we are working to see that, especially the children in the rural areas should be able to afford that education. What about ensuring uh, access to essentials, uh, for example, electricity, the internet? Uh, you know, given that in the rural areas, these are some of the things that are actually very hard to come by. Now, in terms of uh, electricity, please, I was the Minister of Energy, and there is electricity in Bududa. Now, we are, as government, we are trying to give them a tamaka road, and I'm sure that will be the game changer. Now, in terms of internet, there is already Wi-Fi. So there is already internet in Ibududa. I would like you to take us through the, your experience while at Arlington Academy of Hope. In 2007, that is when I sat for my primary living uh, examination. Uh, about 70% of us uh, passed in Division 1, uh, me inclusive. Arlington took me to one of the best secondary schools in Uganda, where I was from senior 1 to, to senior 6 and I still had an opportunity to study uh, my university education still under the same program. So far, uh, we, we, we are over 270 graduates that have benefited from this program.